Hello, oh, welcome back to the channel and this is a video that I didn't think I would be making again in such a rush. Uh, we're looking at the Vauxhall Zafira 2011. This is the 1.7 diesel engine with the DPF and that's where the problem is yet again the DPF so I'll show you what's going on. Well, I honestly didn't think I would be making another video about the DPF on the Vauxhall Zafira, uh, but here it is. Unfortunately, I uh, went for a drive today and I keep getting the engine management light coming on. And the engine management light, as soon as I've pulled the codes, I'll show you the code that I'm getting. Uh, it refers back to the DPF so again I'm not doing I'm not doing excessive short journeys or at least I don't think I am uh, I'm doing I would say about an average number of journeys in and around town smattered with the odd bit of longer distance driving as well I mean today it was actually an hour long journey that I was doing so I really didn't expect to get DPF problems and I thought it would sort it on its own on this journey but I kept getting the management light coming on and off as I was driving along now it didn't cut power so I don't know if that means that it's not bad enough to be a problem so what I'm gonna do is I've cleared the codes for now uh, the code does keep repeatedly coming back um, every few minutes to be honest so it, it's clearly still there and it's not managing to clear it I did an hour-long drive I noticed it didn't do an active regen the uh, the little light that I fitted on the rear uh, heated windscreen didn't work um, or it didn't it, it didn't come on so it obviously didn't think it needed a regen but I think that's that's part of the problem here that when it does clog up too badly the ECU won't trigger it so I think there is a, a condition where if the light is lit on the dashboard the, uh, the, the engine management I'll show you the light that I'm on about it won't carry out a regen and it gets stuck so I think what I'm gonna have to do is get it and do a um, um, forced regen so that's plugging into the diagnostic software and giving that a go so what we'll do is we'll we'll head back home get the diagnostic software and I'll show you that what I'm doing here loading up the um, software using the OBD port and clicking start the activation and you see it now takes control of the revs, increasing the revs of the car. It'll automatically go into second stage where the revs will then significantly increase again. You'll see that in a second. This is like the warm up phase. And when it increases the revs, that's when it's starting to do the regeneration. Go and you'll see it'll hold the revs now at this level this can take five to ten minutes which is quite extreme so it does put a lot of pressure on the car and when it's done you'll see it automatically drops the revs back down again and returns the car to idle you can see monitoring the coolant it has heated the engine coolant temperature up quite high
So what I thought I'd do is I'd explain to you the tools that I was using here. So this is using a tool called Voxcom, which uses a custom USB adapter that plugs into the OBD port on the Zephira. Um, and what it can do is it can interrogate it and bring up lots of specific information about the car. Uh, it can identify, so at the moment you can see it's working its way through identifying fault codes. So these are stored fault codes or um, historic codes. It can obviously clear them and go through and tell you a little bit about them. All the ones with question marks there um, are as it's processing and working its way through. Now you see I've just clicked on the engine ECU so I can get into the main menu there and you see I can now read fault codes and I can retrieve what the fault code that was stored on the system. Now you can see this is P242F diesel particulate filter. You can then go into the programming menu and this is where you can make changes or send commands to tell the car to do different things. Now also you can do measuring which is what this menu is, however you can see there's a fault with my unit in that it doesn't retrieve data. Now you'll have seen that in the previous part where I ran the um, the DPF cycle and there was just three dashes against all of them. You should see the DPF saturation, temperatures, things like that but for some reason mine's not retrieving those at the moment so that's why you can see those dashes but yours should show them. I just thought quickly take you back and show you the function you want regenerate diesel particulate filter see that option in the middle there choose that and you see the start activation button and that's how you do it so there you go that is how to force a dpf regeneration cycle on the Vauxhall Zafira and hopefully help unclog your DPF. Hopefully this has been useful to you. Uh, do pop a comment down the bottom if you've had similar problems. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.